Welcome to Star Schema's presentation on how to use the PLSAP connector for Talent Plugin's free version. At first, we're going to see how you can install this really neat plugin very easily after you've downloaded our software. Our software is a plugin to Talent Open Studio for data integration. So first you have to download it. See our website for the installer link. After you've got the package, you need to extract it to a folder to complete the setup. Please note that you have to match the version of Talent Open Studio for data integration to our plugin. You have to download the appropriate version from our download section. After the extraction is completed, as you can see here, here's a completed Talent Open Studio for data integration installation. Now, we need to set up the PLSAP connector for Talent Plugin. For this, we need to extract the installer files and run the setup. In our example, the appropriate version is 5.0.1. And then select Talent Open Studios folder. And that's it. It's all good. It was really easy, right? The third thing we're going to do is to copy SAP's Java connection libraries to Talent's library. We need this because the free version uses SAP Connectors libraries. Please note that you have to get these libraries from the SAP support site because the unique license agreement supplies on SAP software. Don't worry, if you already have SAP, you can download these files for free. So, as you can see, within only a few minutes, we've set up the whole environment and we're ready to rock those jobs. Now, we just open up Talent Open Studio and set up a new project. Let's call this sample project PLSAP. Okay. Now. After the free version of Talent Generated Files for the initial start, we're going to see one of its very cool features. We simply create a new job. We just call it SPFLI. Here in Talent Open Studio, under Metadata, you can see those connections, including SAP connections. We're just going to create a new connection here. We call this IDES. This is the name of our SAP server. We just type in the server credentials like hostname, user and password, client and system number. We can check if the connection is ready and it's all good. As you've noticed just after starting up Talent Open Studio, the SAP wizards were ready to use. We didn't change anything on SAP side or install the SAP connector. We're now all ready to download tables. Great. So we're going to create a metadata for the SPFLI table. Here, we can easily manage which SAP columns we want to use from the table. Or check the talent data type, as well as other useful information. Cool. Now, we create a new connection again, nicely with drag and drop. And we also drag the table to the dashboard just right after that. Please make sure that you use the simple input component type when you're using the free version of PLSAP Connector for Talent because join input is only supported in the pro version. With just a few clicks, we wire the SAP connection to our PLSAP input component and we configure it to use the RFC underscore read underscore table function in the dropdown, which is SAP's default function for accessing data. Therefore, there's no need for any new functions on the SAP side. However, this function has its own limitations because it's slower and accepts less data than PLSAP Connector for Talent Professionals' own functions. Now, we just drag a log row component here to see the results, the output of our job, to see which records we've downloaded from SAP. 
So that's it. We've created the job. As you see, we didn't poke around much with the configuration. We didn't type in more than 50 characters, not to mention the clicks. It was just easy, as it seemed, and now we've run our well-prepared job. We can see here that within a second, we've downloaded all the data. All the magic you've seen in this video can be found in the free version of PLSAP Connector for Talent. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us now at 1-855-SAP-CONNECT.